I wanted to talk about his parry as well, because obviously I remember he has two different parries. One where he says weak and the normal one. So could you talk to me a bit about what the difference is, or where, how to activate the one that says weak? I feel like it's a timing thing, personally. Like, um, the best way for me to show this would be... Can I go to um, Simple Select real quick? Yeah. Um, where's Eliza now? You've got Eliza, haven't it? Yeah. Uh, Let's see if I can do this. It's hard. It's a hard one to demonstrate still. I feel like when you're so moved, that does like when it's like more than 17 frames or something. It's, it's a bit. I, I need to. I need to figure out exactly what it is. But what what I get? Um, turn your meter on. How do I turn the meter? Blood Opponent, gauge. Blood gauge. Blood gauge. Mm -hmm. So, if you do, you know, Eliza's core soccer forward fireball right into the moon glide. Okay. Do the moon glide two after the moon glide. Um, do the the ex fireball though. Oh, the ex fireball. Okay. So, so he did he did he did weak then didn't he? Yeah. So that's probably and that move, that's what I'm saying. I think it's like anything above seventeen. So, like, so I think we, even Heiachi switch it to Heiachi. I think Heiachi when he does four four two he gets weak as well. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like in my opinion I feel like um. It, it, it happens to moves that have a lot of forward momentum. Yeah. Like, you know when someone comes at you with a big move, like, um, Hachi 442, Death Fist, whatever, like, he, he will, um... Hachi, Hachi. Did I miss him? Yeah. There he is. So I'm gonna do 442. Maybe it's 20 plus damage. I don't know. I, I, I need to look at that because I, I'm unsure myself. I don't know what... Even, what even, even sometimes, though, you don't get the weak all the time. Like when you parry things like that, you see? What about, what about? I didn't get weak. Uh... But I feel, I feel like it's, it's, it's certain moves like, yeah, with a lot of forward momentum, maybe knockdown moves. Um, and you get, you get the weak and most of the time when you get the weak, uh, you get the launch. You get, I, I like using back three for the launch as well because, um, uh, it's safe, so even if like you kind of messed it up, you're you're still safe. Can't can you do forward forward two two? <laughs> uh, I've never tried that. Bro. Try it, <laughs> try it, try it. Hold on, hold on. It's gonna be hard though. I don't. Yeah. yeah. See what I'm yeah. saying? Anyways, so like, don't, so those there's two parries. So for the people that don't know, there's two parries. The one that's the one that says weak. I think it's for things that have got forward momentum. So like quarter circle forward twos or moves that have long uh, recoveries. That's yeah, what yeah. I think is. That's what I think is for. And then all the other stuff like you know punches and the parries. Like for example, if I do one one, you can parry like that and then get your. Yes. Yeah, like it doesn't really work for pokes like that. You won't really get a weak. You'll never get a weak on like a jab. But you'll get a week on something like maybe like a move, like yeah. with forward momentum, like even even some moves like I don't think you'll get weak on it. Like you know if Hatch is in the air, like if you do up forward three, do jab up forward three. That's got forward momentum, right? But he's in the air, so you just don't get the weak. Like it's weird, you know what I mean? Like what, what about up forward four? Um, I might be able to get weak on that actually, because he lands on the ground. Oh, I don't know. Wow. No. It's got forward momentum. It knocks down, but you don't you don't get the weak. I feel you know what I feel like. I feel like every character has designated moves that that he can do that to. Yeah. But I feel like they've actually programmed in. Oh yeah, this character's move will get beaten, but well, you'll get weak on the parry with Leroy. I feel like they put a lot of effort into the character in it, and I feel like that's what they've done. Personally, I think, I, I think that's getting overlooked though by how cheap he is. Because I, I was saying the same thing. I think they put in a lot, a lot of work into this character, but people mm. don't see that because they see the cheap stuff with him, not the stuff like yeah. this, like the parry and stuff. I think the parry, like not to downplay the character or anything. I know he's very, very strong and stuff like that. But there's stuff like this that it's like, wow, this is actually very good. And the cane, oh, man, like yeah, it's definitely. And and they, the fact that they did um, real life. Um, Motion capture for the character as well. No, um, really good. Parry. Yeah, was... like... Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's unblockables as well. Mm. So, um, yeah. Uh, the, so, but basically, how the parry uh, works though, as well, is that certain moves 
Like it's hard. It's hard. Like the the parry is more deep than someone just mashing and then just getting the parry because, like, say if you do single jab, right? Uh, do jab jab. Like I have to kind of know when you're gonna stop. Yep. To get the the hits afterwards. Like if you do two two. No, jab into one one. I mean, so. Oh, oh, jab into one one. See, like I tried to press the parry too early mm -hmm. because I thought he was gonna do a single jab. So, like, it's not one of those parries that just like say like martial law's parry, right? He will, um, like, if he knows you're gonna do anything, then that's a higher on mid, right? That that's a kick or a punch. It will just eat it, and then you get you get um, the follow up. But Leroy, it's like he has to know when you're done to get the follow up. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, so if you do jab into one one again. I had to wait that time. Like, but then if you do jab into one one two, I had to wait. But if I press after the one one and you do one one two, um, I got I got knocked down. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a key thing but with Mashimas as well. You lot need to know that because I get hit a lot when I try to. This do is you. this is also why Lero is such a, a mind game character though because. Um, Basically, if I make a read that you're gonna do the one one two, do the one one two, jab into one one two, please. Launch. Oh, he can. Yeah, okay, because he's more minus, right? But it doesn't yeah. get the weak, which is oh, okay, okay, okay. So you have to know if you're a Leroy player or someone who's picking up the character, you really need to know what strings are heavily used by what character and how you can parry them and if they're launched on the last hit or whatnot. Do you know what I'm saying? Leroy's parry so, is very, very in depth. When you put it like, when you put it in that way, and we actually sit down, and we actually have a discussion about it on this Teach Me episode. It makes me realize how in depth the parry is. Because people are like, oh, you could just match parry and do this, but it's so much more. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. You can't just match parry because you're gonna get, you're gonna get hit, and then you're gonna get frustrated, and then you're gonna lose the match. You need to know. You have to have a good read on your opponent, or have a good feel for what they, what they're gonna do. To um to to use the parry effectively in my opinion. Like say if we're playing around, we're playing neutral, right? Mm -hmm. Then you're just playing Hatchy and then you just fly out four four two. Like like just, Like that can happen in real matches, like cause I knew you was gonna do four four two, you know what I mean? So like um Yeah, yeah, you have to be you have to be like creative with the parry and um you know, you have to kind of know, like, if you know, like, let's say Jack goes for four foot one, right? Mm -hmm. And you know we're going to do it, parry, and then do, do, you know, launch him for it and make sure they know, listen, if I know you're going to do this move, I'll parry you. So then they start respecting you more and then you start running in and then doing hell sweeps and things like that. You know what I mean? But, King J, I want to show you one more thing, yeah. Okay, show me, man. Um, this is weird, right? <laughs> this is weird, yeah. This, oh, this is a, an example. Where's the Fina? There she is. This is something that a lot of people might not know about Leroy. So, um, it's loading now. Right there. If you do one three, yeah. Mhm. Mm oh, one three. Sorry, my bad. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you stance one plus two afterwards? Oh yeah, my buttons ain't set. My buttons ain't, my buttons ain't set. Hold on, my bad. Now one one plus two is it one plus two? That, that. Yeah, yeah yeah yeah. You're supposed to be able to step that to the right. Yeah. That is steppable to the right. Leroy for some reason can't step it. Now let me show you something weird. Yeah. Let me show you something weird. <laughs> Why can't you really accept it? That's so weird. <laughs> wait there, wait there. <laughs> but Leroy never steps it. Oh, that is so mad. Yeah. But because you know what? I ain't got my button set on. Do again. That's stupid. Leroy never steps it. Leroy does not have a good side step. 
there's other situations as well where like Leroy can't step certain things that other characters can. So with Leroy, you have to kind of be aware of that and not be so like movement heavy because you're gonna get blown up uh, for it sometimes because he, he doesn't have the best step to be honest. I don't know why. I feel like they designed him like that because um, because he has to parry, so they want him to be more parry based instead of like moving around and whiff punishing. But yeah, that's for some reason that's just how, like how it works. He doesn't have the best step. Alright, cool man. So you know, Dante, thank you very much. Obviously, we know Dante plays not only Lee Ray plays Jack, and he plays a bunch of other characters. He streams. Uh, yeah, he's got Twitter, Twitch, YouTube. I, I, I don't think you have a YouTube though, but you know, if no. you do, then let me know your YouTube and social media so that people can follow you. Um, yeah, you can follow me at Dante Tekken, D A N T E Tekken, um, on Twitter. And uh, on Twitch, you can follow me at Rise underscore Dante. Um, yeah, those are where I'd say to get at me, to be honest. Right. The best way. Thank you very much for that. I really, really appreciate that, man. That concludes today's episode of Teach Me. Uh, let me know what you lot think about, you know, everything that's been said. Remember to subscribe and, yeah, check out more stuff from Dante or any socials, man. Take it easy, everyone.